Hi guys. This is your old depressed Airbnb host uh, out working on this Saturday morning, August 14th, 2021. I have been, well, for the past three hours doing various shit associated with this uh, Airbnb, being an Airbnb host, been at the fucking laundromat doing all these goddamn sheets and stuff, and now I gotta get home and scrub and get ready for the next load of people. Uh, Rob, if you're listening to this, you'll get a laugh out of this. Uh, this couple who I've mentioned, you know, the, this, these young sweethearts living in the tiny house for the past couple of nights, so they get up this morning and they go to light the uh, new, well, the used gas grill I just bought at Habitat for Humanity. And they uh, light the burner and pretty much the fucking stove blows up. Good God, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. They didn't fucking kill themselves, burn the house down. So we, we got that one under control and, and then the woman goes in, uh, to brush her teeth or wash her face or whatever and, and the fucking bathroom floods I'm, I mean the the drain pipe had fallen off of the bathroom sink I mean there is water good Lord uh, I'm running around uh, apologizing uh, shutting down exploding propane burners uh, trying to uh, stem the flood in the bathroom, uh, having to run down to the fucking laundromat to wait for the next two groups of people showing up here in about an hour. Good God Almighty. So while I was at the laundromat, you know, I've been listening to, I guess it was This American Life on uh, NPR, you know, talking about this story I've been reading about and just not believing about all of these people quitting their jobs. Uh, I'm gonna go here and get me some of this. See if they have any corn. I'm waiting for my 2,000 ears of uh, my 2,000 ears of Silver Queen corn, but I have about another week. So uh, sitting here listening to uh, to this and uh, you know cheering these people on but it, it begs the question I mean what the fuck I mean if, if everybody in the country suddenly decides they're no longer gonna go to work uh, what exactly does that mean for people depending on these essential workers? But at the same time, you know, I absolutely uh, am cheering on anyone quitting their job. I mean, the, the very thought of going to work, working for a living. If, if I thought that I had to go to a, a quote, real job, you know, I, I would put a fucking, I, I would put a fucking uh, bullet through my head. The, the, the very thought of it. And it's not like, you, you know, guys, it's not like I'm lazy. It's not like I'm not working my ass off here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I mean, even without the hip camp and the Airbnb. Uh, it's not that I mind working. It's just the very thought of being tied down to a job. Now, I, I used to say, and saying for years, that the essential tragedy of human existence is working for a living. No, I, I have amended that. The essential tragedy of human existence is being alone. It's loneliness, but right up, uh, I guess, in a dead heat with being alone, especially alone in paradise on now this absolutely gorgeous, look at this day, 70 degrees. It is 70 degrees at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on August 14th here in paradise. You know, being alone 
uh, on a day like this in paradise is the essential tragedy, but, but working for a living. I, I mean, I don't understand uh, if, uh, if, if, if I thought that I had to fucking get up Monday morning or hell at uh, noon on Sunday and, and go to fucking Walmart check in at Walmart or you know and I'm not just picking I'm just picking Walmart because they're the biggest uh, employer on the planet I guess now the very thought of that would would drive me well I, I couldn't do it I, I, I would it would be physically impossible for me to get up and and pretty much go to any fucking job I, I mean it just it, it's the the very concept of it you know I've uh, my real estate agent buddies from my former life in Austin I could go to Austin Texas okay right now I could pack up my shit and uh, head back to Austin Texas the most sizzling overheated real estate market in the country in the next one year I could make two hundred thousand dollars I could put two hundred thousand dollars in my pocket in the next 12 months and come back up here and be set uh, you know with twenty thousand dollars a year for the next 10 years it, it, it is not worth it to me you could not pay me two hundred thousand dollars to go back to fucking Austin Texas for a year not worth two hundred thousand fucking dollars to me. Uh, I noticed on Zillow yesterday uh, that they told me the house that I sold a year ago for one hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars is now worth two hundred forty thousand dollars. I've basically, uh, if I had waited a year to sell that goddamn place in Garfield, Texas. I would be putting $80,000 more in my pocket, but uh, I sent that off to the fellow, you know, that fracker who bought my house and asked him how it was going. And uh, the cottonwood tree is, it's, he said it's not 100% dead, but for all intents and purposes, the uh, cottonwood tree is dead. And um, so he sent me some pictures of what he's done with the backyard. It looks like he just cut down the, the peach grove. I don't see any sign of it, but he loves it in Garfield, Texas. He is very happy in his new home and uh, absolutely thrilled he stole that house for $162,000 and now it's worth 240000 But anyway, it's just... Uh... I mean, I, 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 as, as you guys know, I am, I, I am head... This is day one of my new depression that got set off uh, on uh, Wednesday. Uh, the... Uh the trigger event on Wednesday uh, you know where I just pulled my head out of my ass and realized that I am going to spend the rest of my life alone and just learn to fucking deal with it hound bone uh, and, and and I don't even work for a living other than this you know other than this hip camp Airbnb thing uh, just, just listen, just hearing about people working for a living. What the fuck is this big ass planet eater doing coming down my street? Anyway, uh, anybody, uh, listening to this who has to fucking go to work every day to live, uh, I, I, I truly uh have have nothing but uh nothing but pity for you i, I mean i really 
I really do feel your pain and your, in, in your abject terror of uh, getting up in the morning. Uh, how you do that, you're obviously a, uh, a bigger man than I. I was having this conversation here with my buddy who lives uh, right up here in this next house. Uh, his last job was delivering medical marijuana in uh, Manhattan. Uh, and he just said one day he just fucking got up and uh, delivered his last load of medical marijuana and said, fuck this, moved to paradise, but he's facing the daunting prospect. They have a hip camp too, uh, well not, he does and his landlord, you know, my neighbor is also running a hip camp, so my buddy is my competitor. But anyway, uh, Doing what we do and what I'm doing now is going to put fucking clean sheets on the bed in the tiny house where this next young couple uh, can come up here and do whatever young lovers do. I, I have one couple from India in the tiny house and another couple from Bolivia in the campground. It is a regular melting pot here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I'm glad to see that nobody has arrived. So, uh, I need to wrap this up. And get back to work. Get back to work. On this now absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day. Bye, guys.